This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, 12th April 2023. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. A number of high-ranking officials in the federal government have been invited by the House of Representatives at Dock Committee on Oil Theft over their involvement in the alleged loss of over $2.4 billion in revenue from illegal sale of 48 million barrels of crude oil export in 2015. Some of the officials invited on Tuesday to answer questions are the Minister of Finance, Zainab Hamad, and the Secretary General of the Federation, Bas Mustafa. Also summoned are the Acting Accountant General of the Federation, Silva Okoliabo and the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, amongst others. The committee is also concerned about the disparity in figures from crude oil sales from 2011 to 2014 and is accusing the Minister of Finance of approving payments to whistleblowers in variance with a whistleblower policy. Meanwhile, the committee in February had accused the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, as well as Interpol, on what he described as interference in the committee's investigation. Divers' comments have continued to trill the leaked audio of the conversation of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, which allegedly had with the founder of the Living Faith Church Worldwide, Bishop David Oyedepo. This time, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Muhammad, says it is high time Obi clarified his position on the incident and what he meant by saying the leaked conversation was a fake, doctored audio call. The minister said if it is fake, it means it never took place, but if it is doctored and means there was a conversation but was manipulated. The leaked audio rattled Nigerians because Obi was allegedly heard pleading with the cleric to interfere on his behalf to convince Christians that it is a religious war and they should support him. Nigeria's Super Falcons extended their winning streak to three following a 3-0 bashing of the 2023 World Cup co-host New Zealand on Tuesday. Coach Randy Waldrum's girls got the breakthrough from an unlikely source 11 minutes to half time. Skipper Noma AB headed home from an incisive Tony Payne cross at the Emir Sports Complex and Talia Teke to silence critics who faulted her continued stay in the team. That was her first goal for the side since 2019 and her third for the country. Nigeria headed into the second half with the lead and it took the record African champions just four minutes upon resumption to double the cushion. Tuesday's win over the fans comes on the heels of a 2-1 victory over Haiti. The games are preparatory for the World Cup. Nigeria are in Group B of the competition alongside Canada, co-host Australia and the Republic of Ireland. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always, always trust your instincts. It is the best way to make the right choices. Have a fantastic day.